Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League? And learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's up everybody, Chaos here, and yes, it's day 2 of Madden 20. We dropped a crazy gameplay for you guys yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll put it in the card above me, so make sure to check that out. But it was an awesome game. It came down to the absolute last play of the game, guys. So make sure you check that out. Very good gameplay if you guys are trying to get better. And also, I asked you guys to smash that like button for me, and you guys did it. You guys crushed it. So please, I'm going to ask you guys to do it one more time for me. If we get 300 likes on this video, I'll drop you guys another pro tip to help you guys get better. But you guys know I'm bringing you guys that heat all year, man. Also, guys, take a second. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are enjoying the game, if you're not enjoying the game, if you're pissed off about EA Access. I know a lot of people were, man. It was pretty weird, but I'm personally enjoying the game, but... There's definitely some things that need fixing, so let me know what you guys like about the game, what you don't like, and let me know what you guys think you should fix. But alright guys, enough playing around, let's jump into this video. Very quickly though guys, I do want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you guys struggle with. What do you struggle with during Madden 19? What are you struggling with early in Madden 20 with? What do you guys struggle with that I can help you guys get better in? I'm trying to make videos to help you guys get better. I always have great ideas of what I think people need. And trust me, I have bangers planned for the next couple weeks, guys. I have tons of tip videos as well as great gameplays to help you guys get better. And don't worry, I'll knock that part out. But you guys can help me. You guys can let me know what you guys need to improve on. I'm not in your guys' head. I'm not playing the game for you guys. So I don't personally know everything that you guys need. So let me know in the comment section what videos you would like to see. And I can try to knock them out for you guys over the next couple months, man. Alright guys, now when EA made this change, I felt like I had to make this video for you guys. Now, quick adjusting, as you guys know, the past like three years has been super important. It allows you to stay on your user and still adjust your players. So if I want to adjust one of my cornerbacks, I'll press Y. And then I can do a global, so I can do over top shading, I can give cushion, I can press. If I want to press Y again then I can quick adjust individual players. So if I wanted to do Y, I wanted to do X, I can make that change. Now that's important and I'm gonna show you guys how to do every single quick adjustment that we have out here. But they made two major changes to the D line and the linebackers. So I feel like it was, it was that much more important to bring you guys this video. So I'll just mess around and show you guys. So first, the global defense buttons have changed. So before, if you wanted to look at your play art, you press RT. Now, if you look at RT now, it basically just shows you the X factor and superstar abilities and your progress towards them. As you can see on, on the left, Tom Brady, make consecutive passes for five plus yards to unlock that X factor. And on the right, you have Stefan Gilmore. If you force three incompletions, you unlock his X factor. Now, instead of RT being the play art button, it's now LT. So if you wanna see what you've done and the changes you made, it's gonna be LT and then right stick up. If you just hold LT, it's not gonna show anything. And then obviously you have the buff plays. I never even really look at those. But uh, so here's the play art. It's now LT, not RT. Next, I know before to contain and do other things like run commit and pass commit or spread your entire defense, just everything like that, it was LT before. Now, since LT is how to show the play art, LB now does the containing and the run committing and all that so you definitely need to be careful because lb used to be the d-line i told you i probably ran commit three or four times by accident trying to crash my d-line down with lb and i've ran commit up the middle so definitely frustrating uh you guys are gonna if you crash your d-line to the right you're gonna run commit to the right it's definitely confusing i've been rather frustrated with these d-line adjustments just because of that we'll have to get used to it we probably will I'm not a fan of them personally, but I do think it's pretty cool that we can see the X Factor progress. So if that's the only way that we could figure it out and make it work, I say it's worth it, but we'll have to get used to it, guys. So continuing to move on. So now that LT LB has replaced LT, this is all the different things you can do. Contain on option plays, you can play running back or QB. You can shift your whole defense to the right, shift your whole defense left, pinch them, and spread them. Moving on to the next one, here's the changes with the D line. So now on the D-line, you want to open up your D-line adjustments with left on the D-pad. Once you press left on the D-pad, it's the same as last year. You go back to LB for the quick adjustment. You don't press uh, left on the D-pad twice. Like before, you used to go LB, LB. You don't do that now. You do left on the D-pad. And if you want to go uh, shift your D-line to the left, then you press left on the D-pad again. Because 
that's like the same as the left stick. It works the same way. So if I bring them back up, you can see if I do left stick, it'll move them left. Or if I go left stick, it'll move them right. But you can do that on the D-pad. So that does make this a little bit quicker. If you'd like to shift your D-line or spread them, you can just go left on the D-pad, left on the D-pad, left on the D-pad to spread to go up, left on the D-pad down to pinch. Now that is quicker, but you just have to remember the muscle memory. It's not LB, LB, or left on the D-pad, left on the D-pad to do, to do your individual adjustments. So if I'm gonna spy my middle DT, it's gonna be left on the D-pad, LB. So I'm starting to get used to it. I'm starting to get quicker. It's definitely something you got to use to. I honestly recommend going into practice mode and practicing, just doing it over and over and over again. If you have a setup that you like right now, have a blitz or just a defensive coverage setup that you like to do, go into practice mode and do this. It's very, very helpful, I think, and you'll learn it quickly. Also, just focusing and trying to do it in game. Don't say, like, since you don't know the quick adjustments, don't sit here and, like, click on here. Like, actually take the time to learn it. Like, because if you don't, you will never learn it. So I'm gonna spread and I'm gonna crash my D-line up. So yeah, so the right stick's still the same. So if I go left on the D-pad, the right stick's how you crash, crash up, crash down. That stuff's still the same. It's just pressing left on the D-pad to open up the adjustments is the only change. Now, same thing for linebackers. Right on the D-pad will open up the linebackers and then everything goes back to the same. RB is still the quick adjustment. So if I wanna bring it back up, I go back to RB. If I wanna shift them, it's still the same, it's left stick to the right or left or up or down, but I can use the D-pad and that will be quicker. Since you're already down at the D-pad, you might as well use the D-pad just because you're already down there. And I think that'll help you guys. So it is quicker to move your guys, spreading them, pinching them, shifting right, shifting left, whatever. But the changes from the left and the right D-pad are important. And I know a lot of us right now, con contain blitzing is kind of a thing. So going back to the LB, I, I tell you what, it took me about 20 minutes to figure out how to contain. I'm sitting here like LT, I couldn't even remember how I did it. I'm like, I think it was LTRB because it was just such muscle memory, but I eventually figured it out. So make sure you guys remember that pre-snap change. Now moving on to the final section of the defense that you want to adjust. It's the same, it's Y uh, for, the, for the DBs and all that stuff's still the same. You can give cushion, show blitz, baseline, press, um, over top, underneath, all that stuff. And then uh, if you wanted to go one more, you press Y again. So that's still double Y. So that's still very quick. And you can work, work with the corners. I'm not gonna lie to you, with the change in the linebackers and D-line, I've gotten slower with my corners just because I'm still thinking, like, are they on, are they on the D-pad now? Like, I'm just kind of, I'm really having to sit there and physically think throughout the entire play of how to quick adjust my guy. It is no longer even close to muscle memory. So I'm definitely practicing it, even the DBs, just because the other two throw me off and I'm trying to work with it, but Y is the same, it still does the DBs. So hope this was helpful for you guys. I know some of you guys, I've gotten multiple DMs of how can I do this thing? How do I do this? How do I do that? It's changed, whatever. Make sure you guys know to watch the whole thing. <laughs> Tell your friends, if they don't know what they're doing, just come watch the video, come figure it out and then go into practice mode and please practice this stuff guys don't be online thinking like don't play their online games sitting here like this hmm how do i adjust the d-line again oh yeah it's left on the d-pad quick height like you're not going to be able to get adjustments and i personally have practiced them and i still can't get my adjustments in so if you don't know them you're going to get quick height there's no huddle breaking anymore so that's going to kill you you know that and they're also they're also just going to they're also just gonna be very confusing. You're gonna do the wrong thing. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. That's it for today. Hope you guys are enjoying Madden. I know I am. Take it easy, man. Peace.